Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do two very fundamental things in crochet. This is how you start most of your projects. It's with a slip knot and a chain. So for the slip knot, you're going to want a three to four inch tail, and that's to prevent your project from unraveling. If this tail is too short, you risk this end falling through your slip knot and you're going to start losing stitches. So Find the three to four inches, pinch that part with your right hand. So short end in your right hand. You're gonna take the long piece and flip it over on itself. So the short piece right here is running behind the long piece. You're gonna reach through this loop and you're gonna pull the short piece through just like that. And you're gonna tighten ever so slightly. All you have to do now is replace your index finger with the hook and tighten more. There you go. You've got your tail. It ends up being like five or six inches, but you want more, not less. When you tighten your slip knot onto the hook, give yourself a little bit of space. You don't want to make it too tight or when you start chaining, it's going to be very difficult. So to start chaining, you're going to hold your yarn in well if you're right-handed in your left hand and you're going to take this tail and you're going to pinch it down a little bit to help guide your tail downwards you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through there's one that little v that you see is your stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through three stitches one two three Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. There you go. You can see the individual stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, you want to practice your tension, especially if you're very new to crochet. Maybe you're new to holding the yarn or you're holding it a different way. If your tension is changing as you make the chain, you're going to have some really tight stitches and some really loose ones and your project is going to be a little bit wavy. Um, if it's large, you won't really notice, but it's still going to be, um, a little bit of a problem, especially when you go back to chain over or to stitch into them, you're going to have trouble finding those stitches or getting your hook into them. If you're crocheting too loose, you're going to have holes at the bottom of your project. And that's not going to look good. If it's just tight, you're never going to get your hook into this stitch. It will be way too difficult. It's going to be very hard to do. And you're just going to want to start over. Um, one of my problems when I first started crocheting was I was very tight when I crocheted. I constantly held the yarn way too tight. I thought that's how you wanted to do it. And it wasn't. The other thing is if you crochet too tight, you might get your chain to like start twisting and it's going to do this number on you. Um, that's how you can tell it's too tight and you need to go back and fix it or adjust your tension or maybe just practice more. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all the while you're guiding it downwards. And there you have it, a chain chain to the number in your pattern and you're good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be having more videos posted hopefully shortly. Bye.